Hello, good evening, and welcome to the tour of my home seer powered LCARS touchscreen terminal. LCARS stands for Library, Computer, Access, and Retrieval System, and is a throwback from the hit television series Star Trek The Next Generation. The LCARS terminals could be found all over the Enterprise and star bases and other starships on the show, including Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and anything set in that in that universe's timeline. So, basically the LCAR terminals could display whatever a crew member would need uh, to perform a particular duty. So, in this case, we have internal temperature, external temperature, and the time. So, I mentioned that it is a touch screen, so we're going to touch it, and that gives us our master status display. The master status display shows us what lights are on, what motion sensors are tripped, uh, what rooms are occupied or not occupied, um, whether cooling systems are on or off, whether the furnace is on or off. It also gives us control over sleep mode, movie mode, and guest mode. Now we move on to security. The security panel is very similar, although it just shows us what the motion sensors are doing. Also allows us to control the security system, such as door locks and sensors, as well as setting the alert condition. We also have access here from the main security screen for visual sensors, which are the cameras. We'll get to that in a minute. Lighting controls. This shows us what lights are on or off, what the luminance is like in each room, and allows us to control each room individually. Now, you'll see that the lights will turn off. <clears throat> now we're back on. We can also control each lamp individually. Now, the sound effects here will probably be changing because that is kind of an annoying sound effect. But this will also allow us to control the color of the lighting in the room, which I'm not really sure if the camera's picking it up or not, but it gives you a general idea of how the lighting controls work. Life support, this shows us the temperature uh, in each room and allows us for control of cooling and heating systems. We have the internal and external temp average temperatures displayed, the cooling system, and the heating systems. Now, I don't have central air, so all the cooling systems are window air conditioners, fans, and the like. Uh, the thermostat is actually computer controlled and controls the furnace. Now, we move on to media systems. Media systems allows us to control the home theater system. Say, for instance, we want to watch TV. Activating entertainment system. System mode is cable. This turns on all the appropriate IR devices, sends all the, the, the appropriate IR codes to turn on the television and the home theater system. Now the screen. The screen will also allow us to control the music systems. Well, whole house audio. So I have Cody as media server, so we can hit Cody, and that will launch our primary interface for music. Let's see, we just go to music here, and uh, uh, we find something cool, you know, like, uh, I don't know, some Al Miola might be cool, and uh, go to songs, uh, yeah, that's a good one. We'll just play that. Then, because it's just a tablet, we can go back to our controls here. And now we see that Al Demiola is playing, that the speakers in the bedroom are on. So we turn those off. I have those automatically turn on whenever the music starts playing because I'm usually going to bed kind of thing. So that gives us control over the system. And then we move on to the external sensors, which are the exterior cameras around the house, the surveillance cameras. 
And we can switch between cameras. And we can even pan our camera. Say, for instance, we wanted to see what was going on on the porch. Move our camera around. And there's the porch. We can also take a peek in the garage and then go back. System is just system tools. I'm still in the process of working on those. But that pretty much concludes our tour of my Home Sear powered home automation Elcars terminal. Thanks for watching. <clears throat>